Welcome back to Good Day Columbia, and it's that weekend again. Of course, the weekend is here, and you're trying to figure out what do you see in the movie theaters? Guess what? Keanu Reeves is back, and with a vengeance. Our movie expert, Brandon Davis, is here to give us all the lowdown on this movie, and looks like Keanu is taking it to the house with this one. Keanu Reeves brought his A-game. He brought everything to this film. Well, okay, without giving it away, what can we expect here? <laughs> this movie? Well, here's what it's about. I'll tell you what it's about. It might sound a little ridiculous, but it all they made it all very plausible. Right. So, Keanu Reeves is an ex-hitman who retired years ago to get married. His wife was terminally ill. In the, early in the movie, you learn that she passed away prior to the movie starting through uh, a series of, like, not even, I can't, you can call them flashbacks, yeah. but maybe memories. As that, a matter of fact, we're showing, like, uh, the, just saw the clip that you saw his wife, kind of yeah. like the flashback, okay? Yeah, they, they show that uh, very early in the film. And so, as a sort of, like, a parting gift, she had this plan since she knew she was terminally ill. The night she passes, he receives a dog on his doorstep. They deliver him a dog, and there's a note attached, and it's from his, wa his late wife, and she wants him to take care of this dog and to get attached to it and move on with the dog. Right. So he, he takes in this dog for the first mm -hmm. portion of the movie. You're giving away too much of the movie, are No, you? no. Okay. <laughs> so, and then um, this Russian mobster, young kid, thug, you're almost a typecast dumb guy that this guy okay. but the but the actor who played him brought life to an almost dull character made him made him believable mm. comes in uh decides to do something to the dog well he kills the dog that's not giving anything away okay. that is in the synopsis kills okay. the dog and steals his car so that naturally ah. would set a hitman off and set him out right. for revenge this dog was very special and the car was I mean, it was a 69 Mustang. I would go after him, too. <laughs> but, so now he decides to come out of retirement and go after this guy. And, and it turns out he, he... John Wick is reborn at this point. John point. Wick. And everyone knows who John Wick is, too. Okay. That, that, the, 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 it turns out the kid's father is the leader of this, the Russian mob, almost. Right. And it's not even a mob. It was way more organized than that. And it wasn't like your typical mob movie where they're arrogant and they think nobody can touch them. They're, right. they're very, they make good choices, which I really like. They're, they're, about who they they're humble about, who they yeah, they're, they're like a humble, mm -hmm. organized maf mafia maybe. And they, they don't just go out and say, well, we're gonna kill them. They're, they're like, well, you don't mess with this guy. Okay. What did you wow. do? You know, well, speaking about that Mustang there, um, understandably in this movie, Keanu is taking on some of the stunts himself. Yeah, I mean, that was, this was one of my favorite things of the movie. <laughs> there's, there's one scene where there's a, there's a huge cement block and there's a guy hiding behind it while Keanu is doing his Keanu Reeves thing and just mowing these guys down. Right. And John Wick decides he's going to come around this corner and take this guy behind the cement block out. <laughs> you and like this movie. Thi oh, yeah. it was so cool. He comes, you see him come around the corner, shoot the guy, and then come right into focus and Keanu Reeves is driving the car. Wow. He drifted around this block with someone standing there, and he, he's driving the car himself, which I think is awesome. It's like Tom Cruise, how people dedicate themselves right. to the roles to the point where they do their own stunts. Right. I think that's so cool. So when we see this, are we going to think Matrix? Are we going to think Constantine? Or is it a, a, a completely whole different It's similar. It's got similar action to the Matrix, but it was, way, it was almost like if you saw Captain America, like hand-to-hand -hand combat. or It was very similar to the Equalizer in plot, but the action was definitely the best action I've seen all year. I mean... The hand-to-hand -hand combat and the way that he just is so I, into that character—it's just it flows. Imagine. Everything was flowed oh. for him, and he he brought action like in ways that Liam Neeson brings it. Denzel brought in the Equalizer, wow. and he was he was right at the top of the game gotcha. with all those names like that. And speaking of being on the top of the game, what's your rating, really quick, out of ten? Rating 10? is at the, it's almost at the top this year. It's eight point six out of ten. Okay, eight, this okay. was good. I mean, it was it was everything the Equalizer did wrong. This did right. The action was amazing. Keanu Reeves brought his A game. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's. I, I hope that it makes its money because it's hard for movies that aren't based on books and aren't sequels and just original properties to, to be it. very successful. And the and a movie like Jack Reacher with Tom Cruise a few years ago right. didn't have great success, and it had the title character in the title. John Wick, I hope it delivers. You won't be disappointed, I promise. All right, Brandon <laughs> Davis, thank you so much for that. Folks, stay with us after the break. Your headlines, sports, and weather. Stay with us.